Hello everyone, welcome back to my cha challenge channel. What is this? Yes, my channel. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I can't promise it's going to get any better than that. Um, <laughs> brilliant start, Shona. I have just wrangled my children into bed, um, so I thought I would do a quick voiceover whilst there is some quiet. I know. I am using the Acre gel polishes. These are from Amazon. They come as a set of five. There are two yellows and there, no, no, it's a set of six. There are two yellows, one dark blue, a white, and then there are two kind of turquoisey green colors. So I am going to use the yellow and blue. I know, it's a bit of a weird one. You don't see a lot of yellow and blue. I really like them together. I think they work really well. Um, I went to a school that was yellow and blue as well. I used to wear yellow shirts and blue. Well, it was navy blue, but, you know, it wasn't royal blue. But, yeah, it was really nice. Um, so I decided I was going to do a set of nails using these two colours. So I'm just going to pop on a layer of gel polish. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit through a, another round of that. Um, so we're going to pop those in the lamp once I've done the white. Now, for some unknown reason to me, I didn't use the white that came from the Acre gel polish because I forgot that it actually had a white... <laughs> So I'm actually using the Urban Graffiti um, white polish um, because that's the one I had to hand. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I had a moment. It happens. I've always got my Urban Graffiti white and black polish next to me because they're just, they're just go-tos. You use them quite a lot. So yeah, when I was like, oh, I need white, I just grabbed the one that was next to me. Anywho, so we're going to get them cured and we're going to give them a couple of layers. And then I'm going to come in with some watercolour paints. Didn't really have a clue what I was doing. Did I want them to spread together? Did I want them to be separate? Um, I just didn't really know what I was doing. Yes, this yellow is more of an orange rather than a yellow. Um, but yeah. I don't know why it, it's just the closest color I had um, and also as I could spread it out I thought it kind of goes a little bit more pale hmm. so I'm going to do a lot of faffing over the course of the next part of this video I'm going to keep it in real time and I'm literally just going to pick up paint I'm going to pick up water in my brush I'm going to swirl them around I'm going to come back in I'm going to add more i'm going to take some off um i didn't i didn't want to overthink the design and so when i did it the first time i found it was too structured and it was too like i was making a flag or something which really wasn't what i wanted i didn't want a marble and i didn't want say like with the alcohol alcohol inks um but eventually I had a little bit where it started to bleed. The colours started to bleed together. And I really liked just that very delicate, subtle change. Um, so I decided I was going to make it do that. So I'm going to let you watch this for a little bit. Because like I said, this, this part is, is me just messing around and deciding whether or not I like it or not. Um, which I didn't, and I do actually come and change it. That was a squeak of the door. Um, and also when it dries, it dries very different. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on this nail. But like I say, I then 
change my mind so I think I might just skip a little bit here so yeah I've just taken a chunk out because I just did exactly the same to the other nail um, but like I say I wasn't I wasn't happy with how this was looking this was not what I was going for and the great thing about watercolors it is so forgiving there is so much playing you can do with it you can add it you can make it spread you can um you can make it darker you can make it lighter you really can play with it a lot um which i find you can't do with the alcohol inks the alcohol inks are great because they spread and you can make those lovely tie-dye looks but you can't get a dark color you know like a really dark line or crisp line or you know you just can't it spreads same with a marble every marble you get you don't know what you're going to get and it it is what it is um with watercolor you can be very precise if you want to be um and you can be not precise if you want to be um i haven't picked up a water my watercolors for so long i really just didn't know what I was doing and it doesn't feel like I know what I'm doing either um, which is why I decided to have a play and if you are new to my channel this is what I do I experiment I try things I see how it flows you get to see it in its good it's bad it's ugly stage you know and what I did to make it better or you know and fix it I mean I would like to say that they don't often end up awful Still, you know, very rarely will I throw the towel in and just go, nope, that's it. Nope. I will play with it and I will adapt a design to make it work in the end. Um, but yeah, sometimes it just takes a lot more playing with. I knew what I wanted this to end up like. And I knew it could be achieved. I just didn't know quite the how to achieve it. Um, like I say, it's still looking a little bit too structured. And I didn't want it particularly symmetrical or... Do you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't want that. So I decided... That I want to make it kind of smudge a little bit more. Make it blur a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to keep working it. You can add and you can take it away. And because it just air dries. You just need to add more water or add more product. It is so forgiving. It's brilliant. I really, really enjoy playing with watercolours. And I really need to do some more painting again. Um, because I do enjoy it. I do. I mean, not painting is like a whole watercolour masterpiece here or anything, but painting on nails because I like it. Um, so I'm just going to keep faffing with this for quite some time yet. So now we're going to move on to some stamping. And yes, as you can tell, I experimented with a couple. Um, I tried the gold, but it was so like the colour underneath. You just couldn't tell um, what I was going with. So I was like, mm, nope, I need to try something different. Um, so then I went for a dark blue polish. Now this is just Avon gel effect nail polish. So it's just normal nail varnish. 
um, that I'm using to stamp. And you see what I mean? I've just, although it still looks structured underneath, it's not as crisp. You know, that's, that's what I'm going with. It's just not, yeah, I didn't want it to be too crisp and neat. I wanted, I'm just going to throw the tip over as well. You know, I like to throw them around. Keeps me on my toes, you know, wakes me up occasionally. <laughs> and then I'm going to do exactly the same stamp on this one. I'm using my clear jelly stamper from Nail Dot Supplies. Which is amazing. And as you can tell, if anybody's been with me for a long time, all the ups and downs I had with stamping when I bought a new stamper, it looks like I am actually having some success now. Okay, and then on the middle nail, I decided I still wanted something else. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to add some feathers, I think they are. They're feathers or leaves. I'm not entirely sure which one. I think feathers. Hmm. And again, I'm just going to use gel polish for it. Okay. So exactly the same process again. Put my polish on. When you're working with nail varnish, make sure you work quick because it is constantly drying. Take off any little bits you don't like. Just press it onto the... I don't even know what you call that thing. The stuff, the thingy you use to take the stuff off. Yeah, there you go. Pop that on there, let that dry, and then we're going to come in with the top coat. Obviously, make sure you clean up after yourself. Ta-da! It wasn't too far off, that colour, you know? The orange and the yellow. So I'm quite happy with how that turned out in the end. And I'm just going to top coat over the top just to seal all of that in. Um, I did put matte top coat over the top of the... Um, watercolour paints before I came in to do the stamping just in case I had to wipe the stamping off because otherwise it would wipe all of the watercolour off underneath as well um, and yeah so that's it that's this video done I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one